Hi my loves, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to this face. If this is your first time, do not make it your last. We're all about fashion, lifestyle, and a bunch of general nonsense. So like I've done this video before in the past, I think twice now, so this is my third time doing this video. And I think it's very appropriate to get it done like at the end of the year. So this is going to be the favorite things I enjoyed using this year or just my favorite things for the year. So let's get right into it. First things first, this is like a standard or a constant every year, but I don't think I've ever mentioned it in any of my videos. So this is the first time I'm going to mention it, but just so you guys would know, every year, every day, every single second, this is my number one, and that is God Almighty. Like the way God came through for me this year, I don't think I can finish talking about it. He really came through for me. God is number one. I can't... I can't explain it. Like, you know when people, or if you know the song Firm Foundation, the line where he says, I've got peace that make, makes no sense. Like, I have peace that makes no sense. Like, the way God comes through for me sometimes, I'm just like, it doesn't even make sense. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you're doing this for me. I don't know why this is happening in my life. When I feel like I'm stranded, when I feel like I don't have any way to move on, or when I feel like I'm done, I quit, it's over, or I give up. God just has a way of coming through for me. But this year, especially, it, it was surprising. Like, it was just shocking. A lot of things happened in my life that no one ever understands. Because I'm really that kind of person. I just like good vibes. <laughs> I enjoy good vibes. So, you would never, you would never know what I'm going through. It's just, it's just who I am. Do you understand? So, but just so you guys will know, this year... God came through for me and I just think I need to I need to say it out loud I need to shout it from the top of my voice that God is my number one favorite item no not item my favorite thing I, I don't know what like God is my number one my family comes very close to that very very close to that my family my husband my children but most especially my daughter guys you guys already know I had my daughter this year and sometimes I look at her and I still have to pinch myself or it's almost like I still don't believe I have a daughter. I, like, I have a daughter. I have the cutest, most peaceful. She's just, she's an angel. Like, I have a daughter. That, that was like the highlight of my year. Like, if they ask me what was the highlight of your year, having a daughter was the highlight. And not just a daughter, a healthy daughter. Like, I already shared my pregnancy with you guys. I already shared everything here with you guys on YouTube. So, just when I sit back and look at this baby, I just remember when I was pregnant. I remember when I was having the whole bleeding complications. I remember when I was praying for a miscarriage. I remember how I even got pregnant, how I was trying to do, like, an IVF, how I was trying to do sex selection. Like, when I just look at this girl, I'm just like, are you really here? Like, is this really, is this really my baby? Do you understand? But my family in general, my boys, Sage has been doing me so proud. Sage, I can't talk enough about Sage. Sage has been doing me so proud. He's been doing so well in school. He's just been showing some kind of growth sprout that I don't understand. Like, he's so smart. He's so intelligent. He's so kind. He's so loving. Liam, on the other hand, Liam is like, you know when they say, when you give birth to your second child, you should be done. Like, Liam is really that baby. Liam is... I think everyone needs a Liam in their family. Everyone needs a Liam. Like, I don't think your family is complete without a Liam. Liam is an independent, happy child. You know when they say a happy child? He's so independent. He doesn't need you. But at the same time, he's very loving. Like, he's a troublemaker, but he's so loving. <laughs> like, he just randomly comes up to you and he's like, I want to hug you. I love you, mommy. Like... <sighs> I just love my family so much. Another very close next are my friends. My friends, my YouTube tribe, I'll put all of you together in one category because the love, the support I got from you guys. But let me talk about my friends first. My friends came through for me so much this year. They always come through for me, no doubt. But they did. Like, you know when they said that you'll never know your friends or you never know how good your friends are or a friend in need is a friend indeed. The saying, you guys understand. I had a friend that would call me every single day when I traveled to go and give birth. Like, it was like, 
a standard, a normal thing, like every day to check up on me. I had a friend that came all the way to Houston to stay with me. Like, who does that? Do you, do you guys know how much flight ticket is? Do you guys know, like, she has a job. Do you understand? Like, they have their lives, and she came all the way to Houston to stay with me and take care of me and just keep me company. I had a friend that was getting me food. I had a friend that would call me and would just gist and laugh. Like, it might sound normal or it might sound uh, standard, normal, basic, like that's like, the, it's not, it's not because I've gotten to a stage in my life or an age in my life where I understand that life is life in, like everybody's going through it. So I don't take things to heart. I don't take, oh, you don't call me every time or you don't check up on me or you don't do this to heart. Like I really don't because I know, I know how it is too in my life. Do you understand? So when people do things that you know that they don't have to do, you really don't have to do it. I appreciate it even like a thousand times. And my friends came through for me. They did, no matter how little it was, no matter how it might seem like it's not that big of a deal, but I appreciate my friends so much. You guys know yourselves. Shout out to all of you. They're my YouTube family. You guys know how much I love you. I cannot talk about it enough. I love you guys so much. You guys checked up on me constantly on Instagram, showed me love on YouTube. Like, I love all of you so so much and i'll keep on loving you guys forever and ever okay <laughs> you're my besties for life whether you like it or not it's both of us okay all of us together in this you guys know how we do our cult <laughs> i'm just so grateful i'm so, i am so so grateful like anytime i feel like i don't have money like i'm broke these are the things i think of and i realize how wealthy i am like i understand when people say like it's not about money 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 is good Let, let's not get that twisted it is but Sometimes when you just sit down and look at people around you and look at the things you have around you, you realize that it is worth more than money. Like, it really is. And this year was a true testament to that. And I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you guys. Onto the vanity upon vanity, all on a vanity, all the vain stuff, <laughs> the actual products I enjoyed using this year. Number one is the elephant in the room. I want to just talk about it so we'll get that out of the way. You guys know what I'm talking about already. These are my Hugo Crate earrings. This is actually the first time I am wearing it. I have been waiting for an occasion to wear these earrings, but nothing has come up yet. So I'm going to wear it in this video. So I wouldn't say that is my favorite used item this year because this is the first time I'm using it. But this is by far one of my favorite purchases for the year if not my favorite purchase for the year to be honest look at this masterpiece i know i said that if i was going to style it i was going to put my hair all back but even with my hair down as well it is still the drama like this is a conversation starter are you guys seeing this it is so pretty i just said i had to put it on i wanted to use a different earring for this video but i said you know what i can't keep on waiting for an event you can't keep on waiting for it i said i'm going to wear it in this video and guys look at it like it is so pretty. So yeah, definitely, this is my number one purchase of 2024. And I love it so much. I cannot actually wait to wear it out. I cannot wait to show it off. Like, does it happen to you guys where you're like, where you buy something? Like, I cannot wait to show this off. Like, someone should invite me. Invite me for a wedding, dinner, something. Let me rock this, please. <laughs> Next on my favorite items for 2024 is this mouthwash. I don't know if you guys know this mouthwash. If you don't know about it, please get into it. I talked about this in my feminine hygiene product video. I think it was two videos before this or so. I spoke about this mouthwash. This mouthwash is the best thing that happened to me when it comes to my oral health or oral hygiene. I've always been a fan of mouthwash, but you guys know that most mouthwashes, they contain alcohol, but this doesn't. And you know with alcohol, it doesn't... Well, for me personally, when I use it, I don't leave it in my mouth for long because it has this tingling sensation and it's just... It just is sensitive in my mouth because of the alcohol. This was formulated without alcohol. So this... And this is so fresh. Like this particular one, this is Invigorating Icy Mint. That is the name of this one. The blue one. They have different colors. They have the green. I've seen the pink. They really have a lot but this is the one i'm using and they said they're dentist formulated it is so good so so good i would definitely recommend this to all of you out there stop using your listerine and all those other ones if you can find this get it just go on instagram if you're not here you can find it in places like target and all those places like um walmart and all of that but if you're here in nigeria i think you should check amazon um, check instagram there's some vendors that carry this i got this on instagram I've forgotten the name of the vendor, but just type this. This is called Thera Breath. 
this is what it looks like and i'm sure you must find some vendors carrying this mouthwash i love it love it so much another thing i enjoyed this year that i bought for the first time and i'm trying out for the first time this year are called toner pads or toning pads but basically toners but the pads are soaked into the toners this is the first time i'm using something like this and i have been enjoying it i keep this in the fridge so by the time i'm, I'm trying to use it it's very cold it has this soothing feeling and this is from medihill and this is their vitamide brightening pad but i like the whole concept not just this particular one but just the whole concept around a toning pad i love it so so much it's very hydrating it makes sense because no normally with the pads or with the toner sorry you put it into the pads and you, but this one is soaked into the product so when you put it it's very hydrating like the product is well distributed amongst <laughs> the pads so when you take out one sheet it goes a long way like it definitely hydrates your skin and you get a lot of product and it being in the fridge is just a bonus so i definitely love toning pads and i want to get more of them this is the brightening one but they have different types depending on what you're trying to fix for your skin but i definitely love the concept of toning pads and i think you should get into it if you're not already into toner pads toning pads whatever they call it but yeah now let's talk beauty products. I have a few beauty products that I have been enjoying using this year. This is number one. This is the one size OS. This is the one size setting spray. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> before I bought this, before I bought this, I was sold on TikTok. Like everyone on TikTok kept on hyping this product. And this is my first product from this brand in general. But I want to try other products from this brand because now I know. Now I know. But this particular setting spray this is the until done mattifying waterproof setting spray this spray i have some other i have some other setting sprays but this one i sweat a lot i i think i've talked about it so many times on this channel i sweat a lot like when i wear my makeup and i just walk down the stairs i start sweating it's so annoying so sometimes when i wear my makeup and i go for an event or i'm going out and i use my setting spray i always think that setting sprays don't work for me like they're just there for decoration but this is the first setting spray that i have experienced i would spray this thing i would go out in my head like mentally i know i'm sweating like you know when you feel like you're hot you're sweating when i look at myself in the mirror i'm not seeing the heat like my makeup is not moving it's not shifting and I'm like, what what manner of black magic is this? <laughs> this there's another one I want to get. I don't know the name. I'll probably put it on the screen. But I heard that the combination of the both of them is over. And I have been looking for something like that. So when I found this, I was like, now we are talking. Now we are actually talking. So anytime I use this, my makeup doesn't move. It doesn't shift. It doesn't go anywhere. I can attest to that. Like this product, love it so so much. One in though, it doesn't smell the most pleasant to the nose it's not the best smell so when i when i'm spraying it i hold my breath i'm like Ugh. but just spray 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 be generous because the more you spray the more you would see the impact for sure for sure for sure so yeah i definitely love this product and i want to get the other one i've forgotten the name but yeah i definitely need the combination of the both of them so that whatever i'm doing my makeup will not be going anywhere do you understand like everybody needs that for sure Another beauty product you guys have heard me talk about on this channel and you guys have seen me use. <sighs> this is just like a love potion. This is so, so cute. I love it. This is the Glow Recipe. This is like a tinted niacinamide serum. This product is the definition of glow like if you want to glow without doing too much if you don't want to apply your makeup i've had days where i don't want to apply makeup but i just want that little glow so it's almost like a tinted moisturizer but this is like a serum so it gives you that extra moisturizing glow i don't know how to explain it but i use it before my makeup and i use it when i don't want to wear makeup but i just want my face to look very healthy and very you know glowy and dewy this is the product for you i love this so much i have been enjoying using it i'll categorize it under skincare more than makeup but like i said i use it under my makeup as well just for that extra glow but if you don't want to wear your makeup you just want to have those days where you want to step out of the house without makeup but you just want to look nice you want to look like you applied makeup 
like no makeup makeup you understand that kind of thing especially when you have your brows done like if you have your brows microbladed you have your lashes done you know those two things they have a way of making you look like you're okay you're, you have arrived and you now apply something like this on your good skin <laughs> on your clear skin because we all know good skin is like the number one thing like a good foundation you apply this that's all you need you will just be glowing you'll just look very nourished not malnourished you look very just glowy let's just put it that way you just be glowing i love it so much so so much sorry guys my battery just died so i had to change it so back to what i was talking about next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is something i've spoken about as well on this channel and on my instagram and that is my spf stick <sighs> this this whosoever invented this has sense whosoever thought of this has sense so this is the perfect thing to put inside your handbag and to reapply your spf with so i would usually go with my regular spf when i'm at home when i leave the house this is the perfect thing to just reapply i don't know if you guys have seen it i've spoken about this on this channel so i don't want to talk too much about this but this is from glow recipe and this is the watermelon glow dew balm and it has spf 45 it is so small this is how small it is so this can fit even into your little bags and i enjoy using this because just like the other one i just spoke about this gives you that glow as well without being tacky or being too greasy this just gives you the perfect glow and i love it i love i love how portable it is and how convenient it is and just the whole concept behind it love this definitely my favorite product when it comes to skincare for the year love it my last skincare products or will i say beauty makeup related products are the glow lip oil and lip balm so i have the two of them this is the lip glow reviver balm and this is what it looks like and i got it in this color what's the name of this color this is in berry so the color is called berry so it's in this berry color i love it so much this gives you moisture at the same time like a little bit of tint to your lips i don't know if you guys know by now but my lips are pale <laughs> i do not have blood i am anemic so i have pale lips pale palms like so sometimes i don't want my lips looking yellow <laughs> and pale so this gives me color but it's not necessarily a lipstick and it gives you moisture so that's why i chose this color and i like how subtle it is it's not like i said it's not like a lipstick that you're applying it just gives you this subtle tint to your lips and then for the extra gloss this is the lip glow oil so i use this first and then i apply this on top and this is in berry as well so you guys already know this lip oil it's nothing new but i got it this year and i've been enjoying using it this year and i want to get other colors now you guys already know me when i like something i'll get it in what in every color <laughs> in every flavor <laughs> so yeah i'll definitely get more but this is one i've been using and i love it so much the applicator this I think that is the best part of the whole thing if you guys know this lip oil or if you have it you know what i'm talking about the applicator it just feels very comforting when you're applying it it's very soft and i love it so much so yeah these two always in my handbag always using it and i love them so 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 much this product i i contemplated showing you guys because i don't use it anymore but i used it very well I used it very well at the beginning of this year as soon as i bought it you guys know when i bought this you guys remember when i bought this cup and this cup was the best thing that happened to me during my pregnancy so i just had to mention it i don't use it anymore as soon as i came back after giving birth i just abandoned it i don't even know why because i still enjoy drinking really cold water but when i was pregnant i couldn't just drink cold water i needed like ice water like there was a difference now i can drink like proper cold water from the fridge but when i was pregnant i needed ice like i needed ice water do you understand so this product was the best thing like this it was like you cannot see me without this cup and you guys that have your Stanley cups and this kind of cups, I'm sure you guys are all like that because really I understand. You could not see me and you will not see this cup. Once you look at, once you see me, just look around, this cup will be somewhere close to me. So from the moment I bought this cup till when I gave birth, this was the best thing that happened to me. So I needed to talk to you guys about it or show you guys because not because i'm not using it anymore i'll now say it wasn't my favorite item or one of the favorite items i used this year it was definitely one of the favorite items i used this year 
the last two products are perfumes and there's no way i'll talk about my favorite items for the year without mentioning my favorite perfumes you guys already know that and when i'm talking about my favorite perfumes i feel like i have to put a disclaimer out there i don't mean my favorite perfumes in my collection i mean the perfumes i used the most so don't don't get it twisted <laughs> i have other perfumes that i like way more than these ones but these are the ones i used very very well like they're almost done like i found myself reaching for them every single day and to be honest i think the reason that happened was because it was very 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 easy for me to get past the smell while i was pregnant because when i was pregnant a lot of things threw me off when it comes to smell but these two perfumes it just it just it was good for me i didn't have any issue with it so i used it every single day and yeah let's get right into the both of them number one is nothing new this is the coco mademoiselle from chanel this perfume is one perfume that would always be in fact the both of them they'll always be in my collection like anytime it finishes i always buy another one it's very nostalgic i used it when i was in school as well so i just like the smell it's very i just love it so much anytime i smell it it just reminds me of when i was still in school it just brings back memories it's very comforting i love it it has all the notes that i love the lemon the fruity notes the vanilla the tonka bean the rose it has all of that so it makes sense for me to love this perfume it's just something that i will have in my collection and guys are you seeing are you seeing the dent i made so that's what i mean by i used it literally almost every day and i could stand the smell it just makes me happy it makes me happy yeah so this is number one the next one i enjoyed using as much as that one is the hermes twilly this is the i think this it comes in different or three i think three or four and how you'd know the difference is with the twilly this is the twilly if you guys know hermes the twilly is the scarf that you buy to wrap around your bags so that's where the name comes from twilly and you would know it from the color of the twilly so this is a bit darker they have the one that's like lighter whitish they have the one that's like orange i think that's how you'd know which one it is this has ginger in it normally i do not like the smell of ginger like ginger itself i do not like the smell of ginger but to think that this has ginger in it i love it so much and it's actually the ginger that makes me love it like once you smell it that's actually one of the first things you smell the ginger i love it so so much because of the ginger it has bergamot it has um i think it has sandalwood it has vanilla it has all those things that i love these are notes that i love for sure and i understand why i would reach for it every single day and just like the other one this is the dent i have made is almost done as well and i would definitely repurchase this because i want to always have it in my collection i love it it's a very good everyday perfume both of them they're everyday perfumes these are perfumes that once i shower come out of the shower and i'm just at home which that's what i was doing most of the year wake up shower stay at home this was it it wasn't overpowering it wasn't overwhelming it wasn't nauseating it was just perfect for me so yeah the two of them they were definitely my most used perfume for the year and i enjoyed it for sure for sure for sure so yes guys we're done for all my favorite items that i used for 2024 2024 was i don't know how to explain 2024 it was it was trying but at the same time it was so rewarding that's the only way i can put it it was trying and rewarding at the same time so i am very grateful for 2024 like that's that is like the 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 nutshell of my 2024 grateful i was so grateful and i am so grateful for 2024 i know we're not done yet i know we're still in november but it's almost the end of the year and i just felt like <laughs> this year was a trying but rewarding year and i am grateful and yeah that's it for <laughs> my favorite things hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.